Russell Brody, we're here at uh, Rangitata Island Aerodrome yet again. Um, right. To start with, tell me a little bit about what this weekend was about. Why, um, Why are we here? The main reason being it's uh, 100 years ago, give or take a few days, of when my grandfather began his flight training in 1917 at Canterbury Aviation Company at Sockburn, or Wigram as we've now come to know it. And uh, uh, it seemed like too good an opportunity to not have a gathering and, and get some friends and aeroplanes together. So, right. so hundred nobody years argued and... with that logic. <laughs> yeah. So a hundred years in one family. I mean, that's that's got to be. It's, it's may pretty, not be unique, but there won't be it's many. It's pretty cool. Around, will it's there? pretty cool. It's um, yeah. I'm, I'm lucky to have been there and, and been raised around aeroplanes, and uh, I think Ross would agree with me. He didn't have much option, poor kid. <laughs> but uh, doesn't seem to have done him any harm. Yeah, right. Oh, that's good. <laughs> So, yeah, the weekend possibly hasn't panned out quite as well as you'd hoped. Well, but it could always have been worse, and the wind stopped a few people from getting here, but um, you know, the people who have been here, it's been neat to see, have travelled from far and wide, which is pretty cool. And, yeah, uh, irrespective, we've had a few people flying. A lot of it's morning. about the people, too. You know, yeah. aeroplanes get to there, but it's the people and catching up with old mates, and yeah, that's yeah. what it's about, really. So, other than the, the 100 years this weekend, um, and people flying in this weekend, Rangitata Island here, what, what, what do you do in, in the aerodrome? Um, is it we, really private or? Yeah, it's, it's open to pe people, are always welcome to come. It's uh, no landing fees. Mm -hmm. uh, what's the point in having an airfield if there's uh, not aeroplanes coming and going on it? And we, people learn to fly here and just have somewhere to come visit, take time out, stay, walk around the garden. Right, so I believe you've got a bit of accommodation here that you can rent yeah, out Yeah, we have as well the, for the little cottage come. on the edge of the field. So, um, you know, you can get within about three or four metres of tying down from that. So that's about as close as you can get. Mm -hmm. And, uh, um, yeah, it's, it's just about fostering aviation, you know, young and old, people from everywhere to, to come together. The way it used to be when I grew up, that little airfields, uh, now they're grass fields and people mingled and the kids got a chance to fly aeroplanes and we're losing that today, so yeah. long may that stay here at Rangitata yeah. Island. Now I know you've got um, the air tour here, you've got a tiger moth, um, but there's a few other bits and pieces parked around, various hangars around there the are, corner. Yeah. There they're not all yours, are they? No, no, that's thankfully, yeah. No, <laughs> most, uh, um, yeah, some aren't. Uh, we've got the two RANs online for flight training at the moment, the S6s, so there's a 7 that's getting closer. And I've also gathered up a lot of um, first generation microlite aircraft, of the, of the early ones, the open air ones. And uh, we have about 25 or 26 the remains thereof. Um, I worked on the theory that uh, we need to gather them up, that there were no drawings in a lot of cases, or if there are they've long gone, so we need to preserve them for, for the future. future. Right. And uh, once they're gone, they're gone. So an, an old piece of tube or an old piece of fabric that might be shot, but if it's a pattern, we've got to save it because it's, um, you know, they were a unique part of aviation history. They arrived with a Russian Aurora. They were coming on at 20 or 30 a month in the early 80s. Right. And I doubt we've got 10% of those first generation machines still yeah. on the register. So if we don't preserve them, then they're going to disappear one of them I've got is there was a North Cape to Bluff flight with two ultralight flight Mirage and a Quicksilver MX from North Cape to Bluff. Um, 81, 82, and we've got one of those, which is the very first microlight registered on the man's register. Right. And there goes the gag. And you obviously see a little bit of radial action here from time to time Always. as well. Every, we're non-aircraft type all here. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's welcome, as right. long as having fun in aviation. Right. Well, it certainly sounds like you've got a good little community here. Well, we and try to. It's that The aim is, you know, we want to foster aviation. Everybody's welcome. So it's, um, you know, it's not certain types or... Just if anybody likes aviation with an interest, then they're welcome to be here. So if anybody's keen to get in touch, you've got a website, presumably? Yep. What's yep. that? Realflying.co.nz. Realflying.co.nz. So it's, it's kind of a take that uh, over the years that people would mutter the mic flights weren't real aeroplanes. So I often offered one or two to take them up for a few thousand feet to step out because it's not, you know, it can't be a real aeroplane. But some of those guys never took me up. So it's it's kind of a, a tongue in cheek, you know, right. real flying. Real flying. Right. Co. So if NZ. anybody's keen to come and involve themselves in a bit of community spirit Always. at Rangitata Island. Yep. They can look at the website, get in touch, maybe even come and stay come at the fly. cottage, yeah, come fly. We have people from, literally from Invercargill to Auckland who are flying with us, come here, they stay, and we we um, we tailor the, the flight training around them and where they're at with it. And um, it's been neat. People have, haven't have made as much progress as they'd like to have other parts around the country have come here. And we've never had anybody who wanted to fly solo who hasn't left flying their own aeroplane. And that's something I'm pretty proud of. Yeah, that's, so. that's pretty good. That's pretty cool. Yeah. You know, watching, there's nothing like having been part of that dream of somebody who has always wanted to fly. And that applies to, well, everybody around aeroplanes and others. But you help them achieve that dream, and especially if it's something that they built themselves. It's, it's pretty special. Yeah. Pretty special. Brilliant. All right, realflying.co.nz. 
Russell Brody, thank you very much. Thank you.